Good morning. Thank you for calling the VNV Chronicles. This is Veronica. How may I help you? For three days, she'd uttered this endless merry-go-round of a greeting. Word had gotten round that the V&V had done a special one-on-one interview with a famous and sultry movie star. Was it Ava Gardner or Audrey Hepburn? Could it be Marilyn? They asked. Veronica had no idea. In a city like New York, most anything was possible. Besides, she wasn't a full-time editor yet. She was Mr. Connor's secretary du jour. Not that the V&V was a fly-by-night outfit. It's just that, as his secretary, Veronica made the place run. She didn't actually make the decisions on how it should be run. But she had secret ambitions and desires. Cal paused, absorbing the uplifting lilt of his secretary's voice just outside his office. He'd hired Veronica six years earlier, fresh off her dissertation from Brown University. Captivated by her commanding op-ed style of writing, he immediately offered her a monthly column in the V&V, along with secretarial duties. He considered Veronica's deep brown eyes and voluptuous figure a captivating bonus. But it was that voice that really got under his skin sticking with him long after he left work each day. He likened his secretary's rich, sweet voice to the condensed milk he added to his Sunday morning coffee, a favorite treat. Cal's lovely, soon-to-be 34-year-old secretary was not only an indispensable part of his publishing company, but she had become an indelible part of him. Cal often wondered what the future might hold if he wasn't married. 